What is up YouTube, Josh here. So we are working on something small and decorative for our house on next year. And basically um, we have a window up here, but we were talking about maybe shutters, but we wanna make something a little bit different. And we're kind of going with the farmhouse barn style. So we decided to come up with this concept of a faux barn door. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking actually like half inch plywood and I'm taking one by uh, PVC because almost everything on the house is metal or there's some very small wood. I just don't want any rot and it's white already in our house is white. So I went ahead and cut it to size a little bit larger than half the width of the window because I wanted it a little bit wider. But um, I went ahead and cut the lengths. These are four footers, four footers. You notice I did not miter these corners because a lot of times exterior, when you miter corners together, they pieces tend to flex and I didn't want that. So I just made it like a shaker style square butt joint. Um, this is the style we're gonna go with, just like this. I got one cut here. I'm gonna cut this one. And the way I kind of figure that out is I wanted the center of this board to hit this point right here. So the way I kind of did it is just for the first one, it's kind of easy, but it's a three and a half inch board marked inch and three quarter. Double check it on this side, kind of hold it there. Do the same thing here. Try to eye that with this corner right here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one first. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of take a straight edge right here, and just kind of align it with this board right here. There, and then the same thing here. So, well, I'm a little off here, so I gotta go a little further. I just need to cut on the back side of these lines so I get to a point right here. So I'm gonna go cut that, and then after I cut that, I'll come back and mark this one so I get it to length. Now that angle is close to a 32. This one I know is gonna be steeper than my saw can cut because I already cut the other one. But I'm gonna just kind of hold it. So we'll go this side. So I don't chop my arm off. I'm just gonna kind of go. It's not the proper way to do it, but I'm just gonna kind of align it and it's a small board. So we can see my cuts off just a hair. It's a little strong in here, so I'll clean this up. And then I will go ahead and cut this one, and then I'll show you when I'm done. So actually, um, I went ahead and got these cut now. These fit, took a couple trims. And actually, I don't know why I wasn't thinking, but once you cut the one angle with the saw, if you cut it square against the fence, you can cut it with the saw square. But anyways. I got this cut now, um, got these all kind of fit, I kind of test fit them out. Um, now I don't really want any exposed wood on this. Um, I am going to put a piece of metal underneath here, which I have like a leftover piece. So before these actually can't attach, that's why they're not attached yet. I'm going to go ahead and put this sheet down and the metal is kind of going to go on top. see it so I'm just taking this like PVC uh, outside corner and I actually pre I went ahead and cut them 
and it's going to cover up that edge. I'm going to take the yellow line. Like so, just put them on a 45. And then it's going to go like that. And then um, you don't see nothing. And then this goes against the wall. And um, it should look kind of pretty. So, it's all up long term. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and assemble it and I'll kind of show you what it looks like as it's all done. So this is the way it looks. I went ahead and um, even put a, got out the sprayer and sprayed some coats of paint on it. I really like it, make sure it's all one coat. If it fades, it's white anyways. But I put a bead of caulk where the outside corner met the one buys just to make it all look like one piece and even painted the back side. Even though you're not gonna see it, it just makes it last longer, so this wood. So since it's all sealed and it's wrapped in metal and PVC. It's essentially a lifetime product. Even if it fades, it's still white. So, yep, it's just the way it kind of came out and I'm gonna go get it mounted. So I got it mounted. Um, I got to touch up a couple of these screws here on these uh, 
faux doors. But uh, we went ahead and I made, it's all cedar, but I made it look like a glue lamb beam hanging out and with a kicker brace. Um, and I even capped it with a piece of uh, metal flashing up there, um, copper. So I think it looks pretty sharp. Um, it was definitely that, that piece was a little hard to install, but this is kind of what you'd see almost like on a barn loft. Um, and so we figured it'd be just a nice way to kind of dress up this garage. So yeah, this is kind of how it came out. And if you're interested in doing some, something like this on a project like that for yours, just uh, wanted to kind of show you how I did it. There's different ways to do everything. But uh, if you have any questions or comments, just hit me up. Till next time, Josh out. I got this. Yes, you do. I got this. Here, you got a bit? I got a bit for you. I do? Mm hmm. This one. This one. How high is this? Uh, it's not too bad, maybe. Uh, 16 feet. 16 feet? Maybe we're standing 16 feet. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Something well, like that. Okay. Mm. okay. Not too bad. Oh, shoot. This thing's heavy. <laughs> Well, if you carry a few more things, you can oh, okay. Yes. You mean to help hold it up? Yes, you can help me hold it up, please. Okay, hold on. You got a gap. It's oh. not perfect. No, it looks good. Just hold on. I need to get the top in kind of <sighs> Hold on. Okay. Shoot. I'll just oh, hold here. We're hitting. Oh. Uh. That's not where it was. <laughs> Let me see this. Okay. There we go. There. Ooh, I felt that grip. There's that. Hold on. Oh, I think it's siding. Okay. Shoot, we're scratching it. I'm, scra oh, okay, I'm scratching just, it. You're scratching it. I'm sorry. What do I do? I don't know. I'm going to have to paint it. Touch it up. Huh. Fine. Uh, right there? I'm putting my hand down. That sucker's heavy. What a man. How heavy do you think that is? I don't know. 50 pounds? No. Maybe... 25 pounds? 25 pounds! I don't know. <laughs> I'm picturing like the weight of like a... I feel so a, wimpy a now. dumbbell plate or a barbell plate. Oh, well I feel super wimpy now. No, it might be a little heavier. I don't know, it's hard to judge it. <laughs> okay. So. Well there we have it. That's how we put stuff up. <laughs> hey kiddos! Hey kiddos! Let me say hi. Hi. Aw, cutie. Yeah, we scratched this. This hasn't scratched before. Dang. We need a selfie. This is like the perfect selfie moment. Hi. Uh-huh. No. What? Okay. I'm just trying to take a picture.